So, good evening students. So, next topic is dimensionless numbers for free convection and forced convection. So, I have listed out some of the important uh, dimensionless numbers. These are all very important uh, dimension numbers. The significance of this is it has no dimension, no number, actually it has no unit. Okay. So, without unit uh, it is there. So, that is why it is called as a dimensionless numbers. Okay. So, we will use these numbers in our application like convection and conduction also. Okay. So, we will see one by one. So, some are, there are so many dimensionless numbers are there, but in our syllabus they have given only the dimensionless numbers for convection only. Okay. So, we will see that one by one. So, first one is a Reynolds number, second one is a Prandtl number, Reynolds number shortcut is RE, Prandtl number shortcut is PR. The Nusselt number shortcut is NU, Bayat number shortcut is BI, then Stanton number shortcut is ST. Okay, so, we will see one by one. First, we will see about what is Reynolds number. Okay, so, first I will tell the definition, then I will say the formula, then I will say the significance of that particular dimensionless number. Significance in the sense, what is the use of studying this particular number in our application. Suppose, I am going to use or study or do some literature survey on convection, then what is the role of this particular dimensionless number on that particular application? That I will explain at the end of every dimensionless number. Okay. So, first number is Reynolds number. What is a Reynolds number? It is a ratio of inertia force to the viscous force. What is that inertia force to the viscous force? Means, suppose there is a fluid which is flowing over the any surface you take and liquid is flowing also the oil is also you are uh, just putting on the floor both are flowing which has more viscosity obviously we know oil has more viscosity than oil be, sorry than water so that the velocity of the liquid is higher than that of the velocity of the oil due to the viscosity of the oil is high okay so the ratio between this inertia means velocity Okay, mass into acceleration. So, that how it is varying with respect to the viscosity is uh, that number is Reynolds number. The relationship between the inertia and viscosity is Reynolds number. So, the, the, the definition for Reynolds number is it is a ratio of inertia force to the viscous force. So, Reynolds number is a ratio of inertia force to the viscous force. So, the inertia force you can say the density of the oil and u is the velocity of the oil and l up to what length it is moving that is l divided by mu mu is nothing but a viscosity okay viscosity means dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity you can use any one of that okay you can use either dynamic viscosity or kinematic viscosity but the formula for Reynolds number is this rho u l by mu okay suppose if this is uh, flow on the cylinder mean then that formula will differ that way I will solve when we solve some numerical problem but this is for plate rho u l by mu okay that is the uh, thing suppose if it is cylinder then instead of l we can put d that is rho u d by mu or u d by nu where you should know the meaning for all the parameters there in the formula what is u? u is the velocity of the fluid in the unit of meter per second, l is the length on which the fluid is flowing or any plate, the length of the plate is l, then nu is nothing but kinematic viscosity, there is one formula for nu which is equal to mu into rho, sorry mu by rho, that is why this formula I have simplified, after this it became like this, then what is nu? This is uh, you can call as a nu, nu, nu and this is a mu. Okay, mu is dynamic viscosity, I have not mentioned, so I will write, mu is dynamic viscosity of the fluid or any uh, liquid, sorry, dynamic viscosity of fluid, same unit, meter square per second. So, this is the Reynolds number definition. Now, what is the significance of the Reynolds number? What, why we are studying this? So, Reynolds number mainly used to, to find out the type of flow. 
in flow there are two types major two types are one is laminar flow another one is a turbulent flow laminar flow means the fluid will flow layer by layer there is no collision of uh, molecules between one layer to another layer molecules will not jump from one layer to the another layer okay that this type of flow is laminar flow turbulent flow means for example there is a dam okay due to high pressure dam shutter is open so that time fluid will come with high velocity what will happen the one layer of the fluid will mix with the another layer so that there is a collision of molecules from one layer to another molecule another layer that type of flow is turbulent flow so what is significance of this reynolds number reynolds number is used to find out whether the flowing the flow is laminar flow or turbulent flow by finding out the number numerical calculation i will find out by seeing the value reynolds number value i can say whether the flow is laminar or turbulent okay so there is a range suppose if this is the fluid is flowing over any plate okay i am finding out the reynolds number by using the formula rho u l by mu so that all the values they will give in the uh, data so if you substitute that you will get the reynolds number value if the value is 5 less than 5 into 10 to the power of 5 over the flat plate then the type of flow is laminar flow it is important when the fluid is flowing over the flat plate reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 to the power of 5 then the flow is laminar when the fluid is flowing over the flat plate and the reynolds number value is greater than 5 into 10 to the power of 5 then the flow is turbulent flow okay next for cylinders or pipes same reynolds number if the reynolds number is less than 2000 then the flow is laminar flow okay if the reynolds number is greater than 4000 then the flow is turbulent flow this numerical value you should know okay so this is the use of the reynolds number or significance of the reynolds why we are studying for what purpose we are using this number this is the purpose of studying okay next one is stanton number st what is the definition of this it is a ratio of heat transfer at the surface to that transported by fluid by its thermal capacity what is that heat flux to the fluid by the heat transfer capacity of the fluid what is that heat is transferring in the inside the fluid from one layer to another layer through conduction okay or sometime convection what how it is happening because of that capacity of the fluid okay so the capacity of the fluid it is also called as the ratio of nusselt number on to the product of the reynolds number and tantal number there are two definitions for stanton number the main important definition is it is the ratio of heat flux to the fluid to the heat carrying capacity of the fluid okay so it can transfer the heat by having how much capacity that talking about this two is stanton number okay so they have also found out when they uh, put this relationship between that they have also found that it is also came like the product of sorry the ratio of nusselt number to the product of reynolds number and the prandtl number so you can say st is equal to nusselt number by reynolds number into prandtl number this is the definition of stanton number okay next one is nusselt number nusselt number it is a ratio of convective heat transfer to the conductive heat transfer as we have already studied there is a fluid which is flowing over the plate okay first the heat will transfer through conduction and from the fluid the heat will transfer to the outside through the through convection so the ratio between these two is nusselt number okay so nusselt number formula is h into this formulas are most important okay while we solving the problem we will use these formulas nusselt number sometimes in numerical they will give you the data and they will directly ask you the uh, ask you to find out the nusselt number so if they ask you to find out the nusselt number then by using this direct formula we can calculate the nusselt number okay next one is prandtl number okay prandtl number is a ratio of momentum diffusivity to the thermal diffusivity what is momentum and thermal diffusivity it is something different what is momentum diffusivity and what is thermal diffusivity okay suppose if there is a fluid for example you consider it is flowing over the flat plate okay 
what will happen when the fluid is flowing over this flat plate there will be some no slip momentum means velocity will come into play okay when the fluid is flowing over the flat plate there will be some no slip condition means the layer which is adjacent to the surface of the plate will have some more shear stress due to that it will stick on the surface of the uh, layer surface of the plate and the layer which is adjacent to the plate is having the velocity of zero right and the velocity will gradually increase so how the velocity is increasing that is called momentum diffusivity that is based on viscosity right okay so mainly based on viscosity and shear stress based on that only the velocity of the fluid will vary next one is thermal diffusivity thermal diffusivity is what means thermal diffusivity means how the heat is transferring from the plate to the fluid that is thermal diffusivity so that we have seen the thermal boundary layer in the previous session if you want to see you watch the previous session where i discussed about thermal boundary layer so thermal boundary layer is nothing but the thermal diffusivity so the relationship between this momentum and thermal diffusivity is prandtl number the formula for that is mu into cp by k this is prandtl number next one is a biot number what is a biot number biot number we have seen uh, in the lumped parameter system where i mentioned one point for the system to be in lumped system the system we can call as a lumped system when the biot number value is 0 less than 0.1 this is important thing when the system is called as a lumped system when the biot number value is less than 0.1 when the biot number value will be less than 0.1 when suppose if you take any system suppose this is one system i am taking so at this point if i measure the temperature here if i measure here if i measure anywhere inside the system if i measure the temperature will be constant so the internal conductive resistance to the particular body is negligible comparing with external convective resistance is lumped system okay so the biot number is the relationship between internal conductive resistance and external convective resistance so if the biot number is less than 0.1 then there is a less conductive resistance okay so that means if there is a less conductive resistance then the system is lumped system that's why it is defined the biot number significance is it is used mainly in lumped system to say that the system whether lumped system or not you have to say you have to find the biot number numerically how to find out the biot number the formula is h into l by k so the nusselt number also we have seen the same formula okay but nusselt number is for fluid biot number is for solid this is a thermal k means thermal conductivity h means heat transfer coefficient l means length of the object this k is thermal conductivity of the solid nusselt number also we have seen so that you may ask me the question both the formulas are same see nusselt number is also h l by k here k is thermal conductivity of the fluid nusselt number thermal conductivity of the fluid denominator in the biot number the denominator is thermal conductivity of the solid okay next one is that's all so this are the dimensionless parameter so in next class we will see the upcoming topics in the syllabus okay thank you